Welcome to Lucent Talks. Today we are hosting a therapist with a colorful life. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist in private practice um, in Los Angeles, California, and Portland, Oregon. Um, I've been in practice for about 20 years. Um, I had uh, various careers, including as a writer and uh, performance artist. Um, I work with adults, uh, with older adults, um, with people who are in uh, transition, sometimes because uh, of their, uh, uh, their aging or their changing careers, sometimes because they're dealing with life-changing illnesses, such as cancer or AIDS. Um, in another lifetime, I'm an author. Um, I have two books of fairy tales retold to the gay community, traditional fairy tales. How do you support a person with depression? Um, they can present in a number of different ways. Um, they, might, they might look depressed. Uh, they might look very somber, very melancholy. They might sometimes cry um, without any trigger for tears. Um, they might suddenly seem like they don't have any energy at all. All they want to do is lie on the couch. Um, they might suddenly isolate. If they were your friend, you might not hear from them for a long time. If they were a family member, you might notice that when they got home from work, all they wanted to do was go into their bedroom and not come out. You might notice that they started self-medicating, that they were accessing alcohol or cannabis much more than previously. Um, some people, depending on the person, you might notice that they suddenly became not just irritable, but very, very surly, yeah? Uh, a mixture of irritability and hopelessness. If they were somebody who was not terribly psychologically minded and somebody who was not comfortable talking about feelings, they might report physiological symptoms. They might say, oh, I'm always tired. I never have any energy. Or they might have pain that a doctor could not associate either to injury or illness. For instance, their feet might hurt them all the time, such that they would walk with a limp, even though there was no structural difficulty. Um, if you were a clinician, you know, you'd simply ask the person some specific questions. You'd start out by asking, are you ever depressed? And if they said yes, you'd ask them what experiences they had that they associated to depression. And you'd look for um, you'd look for a cluster of symptoms that uh, had lasted for at least two weeks' time, more days than not, and they tended to occur at the same time. And they would include um, depressed feeling, mm -hmm. which could be both feelings of sadness, but it could also mean all the other feelings like happiness, anger, anything else. They're toned way, way, way down. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can also expect feelings of hopelessness. Um, excessive feelings of guilt or worthlessness or emptiness. Um, you look for changes in their sleeping patterns such that they were sleeping far more than usual but not being refreshed. Or on the other hand, they were experiencing, <coughs> excuse me, insomnia most nights. Um, you would look for something called psychomotor retardation. They're slow in their speech in their thinking, in their actions, not just uh, subjectively, but you can observe it in the room. Um, they would have deficits in focus and concentration and short-term memory. They might be actively suicidal. They're really talking about killing themselves to get out of this, this terrible pain. Mm -hmm. But they might, also, um, they might also ruminate on themes of death and dying. Not, I want to kill myself, but, uh, gee, wouldn't it be nice if I just didn't wake up tomorrow morning? Or, I'll bet my kids would do better if I was out of the picture. Yeah? Yeah. Um, oh, and if a person was in psychotic process, you would expect that the delusions and hallucinations would be mood congruent. Um, for instance, one person once told me if they could hear the voices of the dead crying and telling them, that uh, they were the reason that they had died. Yeah, so feelings of guilt and culpability. Yes, those are some of the things you could do.